Be aware that the government will not take lightly your calls for secession. Well, this was President Mwai Kibaki's message to the MRC during Mashuja Day celebrations today. Kibaki issued a stern warning to the MRC saying the country will take firm and decisive action against the separatist group. He added that his government will not tolerate the MRC's demands and reminded the group that Kenya will remain united. KTN senior reporter Aaron Ocheng attended the event at the Nyao Stadium and now reports. President Kibaki, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, together with other dignitaries, members of parliament and the diplomatic corps were here at the Nyayo National Stadium for the Mashuja Day that was previously known as Kenyatta Day. <laughs> The head of state used the occasion to take a hardline stance against the Mombasa Republican Council, who are clamoring for the cessation of the coast region from the rest of the country. We will take firm and decisive action in dealing with those who have issued threats of cessation or those who threaten our security. Their president's speech in its entirety dealt in details on the Kenya's Defense Forces mission in Somali and the war against terror, the country's readiness for the forthcoming general election and empowering the youth to take up a commanding role in the economic front. On the gains made in the war in Somalia, the president paid tribute to the Kenya Defense Forces for their recent capture of Kismayu in the ongoing war against Al-Shabaab militants. He said Kenya's forces will remain in Somalia as long as necessary until the country regains normalcy. I would like to commend members of the Kenya Defense Forces for their professionalism, bravery and sacrifice as they executed Kenya's hunt for al-shabaab militants in somalia on the march 4th general election kibaki says the government has put in place necessary institutional and legal structures to ensure that the election will be free fair and peaceful president kibaki urged kenyans to turn out in large numbers and register as voters when the listing commences next month let us all remember that Kenya's collective destiny is far more important than the interest of any individual person or group. He said the government was fast-tracking the issuance of identity cards to those who have attained 18 years to enable them to participate in the election. The process of voter registration is however crowded in uncertainty with the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission remaining tight-lipped over the acquisition of the registration kits. Prime Minister Raila Odinga and Vice President Kalonzo Msioka paid tribute to the national heroes that the government had identified and who were present at the function, but said there are many others who are present-day heroes and forgotten ones who needed recognition. Raila said the remains of independent hero Dedan Kimathi will be exhumed from the committee prison and given a hero's burial. Chief Justice Adotopatesis Rusa na kufukua na kwenda kuezika kiyashima. Vile sasa mahakama kuu imetoa amri tunaweza tukabarikiwa kupata ni wapi mzee wetu Dedan Kimathi alizikwa. Na hivi basi ili basi tupate kumpatia mazisha na ustahili shujaa kamili kama huyo the heroes who were invited to this year's function included mau mau war veterans educationists entrepreneurs and veteran sports personalities erono chenketien saturday night